Hey guys, so we'll go ahead and come back over here and talk about this Audi A4 that has a 3P on it. Uh, this is one of the best kits in the market. We highly recommend it to all, all, of, all of our customers. The reason why is because you can upgrade to 3H at any time. This particular car has a seamless tank that we also recommend. The reason why is because it's easily positioned to anywhere you want. You can actually mount it anywhere you want. These brackets up here where it mounts up to can be moved around 180 degrees, 360, whatever you like. Uh, but you can actually even make a custom bracket right here to mount it anywhere. Let's just say you wanted to have a floating tank. We can also offer that. We can actually make those brackets for that. Um, this car actually has wood flooring. This is something that is in style right now. A lot of people do it for show. It looks amazing. So we can actually offer this any color wood you would like. If you want a gloss, you want a flat, you want a cherry, whatever it may be, we can make it. If you want a simple MDF board, you want it to be carpet, we can also match this carpet to any car you have. I mean, if you even wanted to change it out to a different color, we can go ahead and do that. So here, there's actually two compressors, one over here and then one over here. Now, the, we'll go ahead and talk about why you should have two compressors instead of one. A lot of people think that you don't really want to spend that money, but we recommend it for you to have two compressors. The reason why is because if one was to fail, the other one would still work. You wouldn't be stranded. If you air out somewhere that's maybe 100 miles away and you can't air the car back up, you don't want to be stuck somewhere and have to maybe even call a tow truck. And even at that point, if your car is aired out all the way, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to tow it home. Now, a lot of times people think that, you know, that's the only reason why. I mean, I don't drive that far, but that's not the case. In this case, you also want to reconsider the fact that if you have two compressors, you're flowing in significantly more air into this tank. That reduces the amount of runtime on the tank to fill it up. And at the same time, it's a little bit louder, but you don't hear as much. So we always recommend for you to reconsider that this may be the best route for you. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and email us or give us a call. Um, again, there is more uh, options available for the compressors too. There's multiple ones. There's a, 340, a 340, there's a 380, there's a 400, and a 444. Now the 444 flows a lot more. It's a little bit louder, but the higher it is, the more air it flows. Again, that reduces runtime, which a lot of times, it's not that big of a deal until you drive the car every single day and you hit a speed bump and you gotta air it up and then you hear it running. Now the 3P and 3H has the Bluetooth capability and it's free, unlike other systems. As you can see, I just turned on the car, it's airing up by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the car to make sure the voltage is the same at all times. The nice thing about the 3P and 3H is when the voltage drops, it senses it and it turns it off does not allow it to constantly draw voltage to the point where you have no more voltage in the battery. You, don't, you do not want to be stranded. So this comes and goes and it's actually a good thing because when you're at shows and you want to use the Bluetooth system, a lot of times people like to air up and down with the car off, but it drains out the voltage. You might be stranded and you can't turn on the car and you might have to jump it. If you're at a show, no, not a lot of people actually have a jumper at shows. So. It's very good to have a system like this to prevent that possibility. So here we have the controller. Right now it's set up at 75, 75, 70, 70 for, air, uh, for a preset. So here I'm gonna show you, we press it, that's a preset. So it's pretty good, it's accurate. V2 is not that accurate to the point where it's down to each uh, individual to be at like whatever it is set up at. A lot of times V2 would be at 65 here, 68 here, 72, 72, something like that. In this case, let's just say we go to the second lowest preset, which would be 70, 70 on the front and 55, 55 on the rear. We'll go ahead and tap it twice, brings it down. You can see how quick it gets down there. It's at. Now we'll go ahead and go to the Bluetooth setup. So Bluetooth, we go to operations and there's Bluetooth pair. There's a lot of other uh, stuff on here too, like minimum dri hard driving height. This would be pretty much a preset on your height or pressure. So if you were to have a height sensor and it's dropping too low and uh, you might rub, you can set that up to stay and maintain at the height at all times. 
There's a lot more stuff on here that's pretty cool, but the one that we want to talk about right now is Bluetooth pairing. So there's Bluetooth on here, which allows us to sync it up to the app. So now I'll go ahead and put it on the phone, turn it on. This app is actually free. You can download it anytime. Once you have it all hooked up, you can see right here, exactly the same pressure and all that stuff, same features. It acts like uh, the same controller. So let's say you wanted to go to second lowest, tap it twice. There you go. Air it up. 